In this problem, we need to find the distance between points P1 and P2. The formula for distance is d squared equals x2 minus x1 quantity squared plus y2 minus y1 quantity squared. Now, I wrote it that way in particular because um, I, I don't want to write a big giant radical, so I'm not going to. Um, so rather than having to draw that radical every time, it's kind of annoying. I just write it out in this format, and then at the end I'll take the square root and I'll be done. So there you go. All right, so um, d squared is then, for this particular problem, and I'll take my first x value, 2 times the square root of 3, minus the second x value, which is negative square root of 3. And then I'll square that result. Plus, and now I'll do the same thing with the y values. I'll subtract those. So we have square root of 5 minus square root of 5 quantity squared, but you can see that's going to turn into zero, so that's pretty straightforward. All right, so now I have 2 square root of 3 minus a negative square root of 3, which makes 2 square root of 3 plus the square root of 3, and we want that whole thing squared, plus zero. Just go ahead and make that zero. I can even just lose that part. And 2 square roots of 3 plus the square root of 3 is 3 square roots of 3. So if we square that, and we distribute that square, so it's 3 squared times the square root of 3 squared, which turns into 9 times 3, which is 27. And that was d squared. That was our distance squared. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to say, so then d squared equals 27. So take the square root of both sides. Oh, if I was paying attention to what I was doing, I would have just stopped and gotten three square roots of three there, right? So I could have figured that out right here. I didn't need to square it and then just immediately turn around and take the square root. So that would have been good. All right, that's our final answer.